Finn and Kevin Lane worked part-time as firefighters. They rescued a boy who's been named as Daniel Harford from his house at Blyneye in Gwent. But Daniel died in hospital. Then they went back into the flames and they never came out. A grey cloud has hung over the village of Blyneye all day. Its flags fly at half-mast in tribute to three people who died in an early morning house fire. Two of them were firemen, the other was a young boy they'd rescued before re-entering the house for a second time. We've lost two brave men this morning, men who were trying to save lives. They joined the fire brigade to serve their local community. That's what they were doing this morning. They believed that there was another child. They were told there was another child still upstairs in this fire. And having carried one child out and having uh, given resuscitation to that child, they then re-entered the building. And Unfortunately, at the time they reached the head of the stairs, there was this explosion, which has cost them their lives. The two dead firemen have been identified as 32-year-old Kevin Lane and 42-year-old Stephen Griffin. Both were retained fire officers working here at the Bliner Fire Station, less than 800 yards away from where the house fire occurred. The young boy they rescued, six-year-old Daniel Harford, also died from smoke inhalation and burns. The locals in the village have been stunned by this triple death. I think there's just a sense of uh, shock and I don't know, people are just stunned, I think. It's, it's obviously the only topic of conversation because in a small community like ours, everybody knew them, uh, all these members of their family. So it's, it's, like a, it's like a personal tragedy to most people in the, in the village. An investigation is already underway to find out why these two firemen died. They went back into the house and came face to face with an enormous explosion. What caused that is still unknown. Ian to die.